Now it's time for a struggle challenge. I have an abundance of canned salmon. Aside from salmon patties, what are creative and delicious ways to use up my supply? Let's see what else you've got in the fridge and I'll come up with a prescription for all your ales. Oh, shit. that's a lot of salmon. You must have gotten a good deal. <laughs> Spaghettini, free cooked spaghetti, old fashioned oats, chickpeas, we got some diced tomato, a lot of cans. We got celery, we got carrot, lettuce, red wine vinegar, lemon, rice and breadcrumbs, garlic, onion and cheddar, huevos. And up top, peas and carrot medley. Salmon has to be the star of the dish. So, according to the blood that I have flowing through my veins, which is partly Italian, cheese and fish can't be together. So the cheese, it's out. So we've got uh, big salmon. I think I wanna use up these eggs. We also have this leftover spaghetti. So I'm thinking in a bowl, we mix the salmon, the eggs, the cooked spaghetti, maybe some celery. Oh, there's a word for this, uh, timbalo. Timbalo is a leftover pasta egg uh, pie, and we can make it with salmon. It works in my head. Let's see if it works in real life. I'm gonna make the holy trinity, the base of a lot of pastas, carrot, onion, and celery. So you wanna have 25%, 25%, 50% onion. That is the traditional ratio. Fire this up. All right, it's all going in. Salt, pepper, garbanzo beans. Let's see what the salmon looks like. Does it need to be drained as well? This one has some, ooh. I'm gonna peel the skin off here. Ah, sometimes human advancement really worries me. Oh my God, this. All right, I'm taking out the freaking bones because I don't want that. Listen, we gotta use this. We gotta use this, this is the ingredient. Never seen it quite like this before, but that's what we've got. That looks pretty bone free and I'm mashing it up just to be sure. Oh, it's fresh, I mean, it smells good. That's a plus. Let's see if I can crack six eggs really quickly. No! Ah! Failure! All right, we're whipping this up. This is our glue. All right, that's nice and mixed. Now, the idea here is that this is warm and it will start to cook the egg. Let's dump the spaghetti in as well. I feel like this needs paprika. All right, so I'm just trying to be careful with the amount of pasta that I put in here because I only had six eggs and I, I do need all of those to solidify. Putting some salt in, oil. Let's get some pasta on the bottom like this. So I'm not just throwing this all in a pan and serving it. This is gonna be sliceable like a cake. At least that it is in my head. While the egg is cooking through, so I'm sort of gonna top this here and the plan is for it to cook like 80% on this side. So I'm just gonna feel around with the spoon here. Try to see if the edge is crispy, if this is solidified. Ooh, very pleasing. Let's hit this with some oil on top. Listen, this is a struggle challenge. I have no idea what's gonna happen here, but this needs to cook on the other side. Here's, oh, this is a little insane, but here we go. This is never gonna work. It's okay, I believe in myself. Mm. Yes, it worked, oh my God. Yes. All right, so now we wanna curl this under. Oh, I am so pleased. I do want this to continue frying, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it some more ability to fry around the edge. I'm gonna put a little paprika over the top here, just because I think it's gonna look cool. Negative, it doesn't really look that cool. As this becomes solidified, it should, yeah, it's starting to move as one. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Oh. I lost some on the back end there. It's like a mullet. It's all business in front, but there's just a party out of the back here. Hey, listen, it's not the worst thing in the world. So let's see how this tastes and then I'll grade myself. Well, it's completely falling apart now. Uh, it's fine, really. It's, it's not bad, but I'm certainly not lusting over these flavors. I probably could have done some more things to make this taste a little bit better, but I would happily eat this entire thing for dinner and be satisfied and happy. So I think that gives it a solid seven and a half in the flavor department. Now, I was a little more ambitious in the looks department with this whole situation here. 
If this had turned out into a solidified pie like I wanted, I would have given myself a 10. It would have been a marvel of my cooking skills, uh, but that didn't happen because my skills aren't quite there yet. So maybe this was a little bit too ambitious, but it does look so cool and it is perfectly toasted. Let's go with seven. So we're going with seven and seven and a half. We got a 14 and a half. It's like a C minus. That's exactly what I deserve. I deserve a C minus for this dish. This is a great dish to have during rent week. It takes leftovers, it essentially binds them together with eggs, and it turns them into a one pot dish that you can slice like a pie. Thank you for this challenge. It's been illuminating for me as much as it has been for you.